And we begin here at 10 with the strong storms that quickly move through the area today. Check out this time lapse of the system moving into downtown Detroit. You can see the heavy rains coming in on your screen and covering the city. And that wasn't all. Tonight we're getting a look at the damage left behind after the high winds and lightning along with those heavy rains caused a mess all over Metro Detroit. And tonight the cleanup intensifies. That story tops the news here at 10. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Demond Fernandez. The good news, those storms have moved out of the way, but tonight cleanup is still underway. Jacqueline Francis is live in Ferndale right now with a look at some of the damage there. Hey, Jacqueline. Hi, Demond. It is just a mess out here. If you take a look behind me, you're going to see crews out here right now working to fix a suspected gas leak. That white building next to them is a restaurant Voyager. The owner telling us tonight he's not even been able to get inside to see what kind of damage there is. And then that dark building next to it, that's a car repair shop. One of a few buildings here in Ferndale to have significant roof damage. Take a look. See that it covered my whole window right there that my whole apartment is dark inside. It was the afternoon storm that's force caught Ferndale by surprise. I got a phone call around four o'clock this afternoon that said um, the roof fell off and it's blowing down nine miles. Alia McGowie is in charge of the apartment complex at Nine Mile in Paxton, where some residents will need to be put in hotels due to the damage. 508 on down, these people will have to be evacuated. We did have one person that was injured and I don't know her status right now. Neighbors say the injured resident was hit in the head with crumbling debris. I got up on the fifth floor. The lady that's in the ambulance, she was Hello. coming out her door and all of the stuff stopped falling on her head. The storm carved out a distinct path through the city, crossing Nine Mile, cracking this utility pole in half. I had one customer in the shop and all of a sudden it turned green outside and we heard a whistling sound. And hitting a vintage shop not far behind. It just kind of blew sideways like a green cloud of rain and the front door flipped open and he caught it, we locked it. And I come up here to shut the lights off and I'm, water's coming anywhere. I see all these holes in the ceiling. I didn't wasn't aware that the roof had blown off already. As for that one woman who was injured in the apartment complex, we are still working to learn or get an update I mean, on her condition. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live in Ferndale, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Well, thank you, Jacqueline.